Hello everyone, my name is Pelescent Moon and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 8. Just when I feel like I've strung up this mountain enough, I swear it'll snow again and more will just appear. It just, it just keeps on coming. It, it, it keeps on coming. <laughs> I've been slowly adding string to this mountain over the last like two weeks or so. And every time it does snow, I'll come over here with a string place it and just get rid of more and we will eventually cover the whole mountain. Some pretty good progress has been made because as you can see there is no snow over there and a whole bunch over there. I was about to say that around the back was pretty good as well but it seems like it has snowed a whole bunch. I, I could have sworn that I covered, look there's even string here, I could have sworn that I covered most of this with string. I'm sorry what? <laughs> I'm so confused. I, I most definitely covered a lot of this with string. I don't know how a whole bunch of it... it maybe I'm delusional. That's it, guys. I, I feel like I've placed more string than I have, but maybe I just haven't and I'm just delusional. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. That's fine. Putting aside the string for now, you guys might have also seen this kind of like new red wool addition to the front of my base. I've been kind of looking at my base over like the past month or two and honestly I'm just struggling to like it. I will admit that I'm struggling to like kind of where it's heading at right now. So I was thinking of starting to add a little bit more bulk to the bottom half of the base. Now unfortunately this does mean that the kind of like the ship lotus thing that we have going on down here is going to be covered up. But you know from your average perspective you don't really notice it's a thing anyway. So at the moment I'm kind of just laying down some rough plans of how I would like to improve my base and you know hopefully it'll look a little bit better over time. But the base expansion is going to be for another episode because we have some other things to do today. Including including my episodic shop check and there's another creeper in the boat. <laughs> no matter what I do, these creepers just come in and stroll in anyway. They'll do whatever they want. They're like, oh, cat? Oh, boat. <laughs> I just, please, creeper, why? Uh, I think I just need to put another cat in that boat and hopefully no more creeper problems. That that would be great. That would be great. I'm just kind of going to ignore the little green dude for now and check for any sales in our shop. Have we made any more? Oh, there we go. Okay, beautiful. So we sold another netherite ingot. Fantastic. Still three there though, so I don't have to restock right away. Uh, glass. Yes, indeed. I was actually told that green had sold me out at one point, so I did also restock. Given it appears that we have made also another diamond on top of what green had bought us. So there we go. We have 22 diamonds from the glass. Fantastic. And I've also decided to add uh, these two items to the shop, the tough block and the calcite block, because Green also said that he needed some of that. So I'm just like, okay, I can sell some, I can put it in the shop. But it does appear that uh, none of the calcite was sold, unfortunately. I do have it as two diamonds per stack because it's not renewable. Uh, but then, you know, tough, you can just mine down on the ground and looks like it's all completely sold out. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to completely sell out of the uh, tough blocks. Maybe that's something we kind of going to restock in the future or raise the price. I don't know. What do you guys think? One diamond per stack for the tough block and it all completely sold. Maybe, maybe I just need to restock. Maybe just restock. It's fine. And uh, none on the tinted glass and of course no books because they're super expensive. But all in all, that's pretty good. I'm happy with those sales. Mr. Creeper, you can stay there until someone decides to blow you up because it's kind of funny when I get a hole in my ship. That's a nice green surprise. It's okay. Beyond that though, we need to be adding our diamonds to the hourglass. So how many more blocks have we got to add? Another five blocks. That's okay. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. It's happening. Cats, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go add these to our hourglass. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Starting to kind of fill this up slowly but surely. Our glasses aside though, we have another kind of like really fun thing to do in this episode. Because I know a lot of you guys have been going, Pearl, you haven't pranked anybody in a while. And you're in my streams going, Pearl, why are you not prank somebody? You gotta brugle prank somebody. And you know what? We're gonna do just that. I have asked the lovely Gem if she would like to do a little bit of pranking with us today. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go hop on our lovely horse called Moon because she has sun and we're gonna go go for a little bit of a ride and uh, meet up with her and uh, go do some fun prankages. Yeah, Halloween themes. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Taking Moon up for a stroll and the long road all the way down. There's a horsey on the road. Hello. Oh, yeah, you have an arrow in your in your shoulder. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm I'm okay. Uh, Are yeah. Are you sure you're uh, okay? We're, we're we're going super fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a girl. You're a lot faster than me. Yes. Yes. 
Hi. Something on your head. What do you mean a little something? It's my pumpkin dude. I can give you a pumpkin uh, dude. Well, does it itch? Mm, I mean, he itches the scratches for you. <laughs> does that do the job? <laughs> He's like, okay, like one of those head out. massages, you know, those little metal claw things, you know? <laughs> uh, it's a little creepy, I'm not gonna lie. No, I'll it's try not and... creepy. He's just sitting there, he's grabbing on and he's waving, you know, all is good times, it'll go with your hair. Look at him uh. waving in your hand, it's cute. <gasps> there we go. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Look at him, come on, he's adorable. Color. He does go with your hair color, come on. It's pretty cute. But, okay, Fine. well, if you're a bit uncomfortable about pumpkin dude scratching your head, there's another one that you can wear. It's called the pumpkin antenna. Oh, mm. I like the look of that. Yeah. Oh, my oh. Moon, moon's going for a walkabout. This is fine. Oh, moon. <laughs> this is okay. Here, you can have that guy back. Oh, you don't oh, want pumpkin These dude? are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pearl. There you go. This works out. Are you excited for it's Halloween? It's awesome. We're so festive. Yeah. Yes. You know, I've noticed that mm. nobody else is really very festive. No. We got to solve that problem, I reckon. I think Moon's already off to solve could. that problem. Oh, moon! moon <laughs> what do you reckon, Jim? Should we uh, go and say hello to maybe a few bases on the server and spread some festive uh, festivities? You know? Yeah! You tricks! Know? Yes, bring tricks. Sun and Moon with us because it's been so long for them since they've been out. Yeah! Give them a nice ride. Sun and Moon trick-or-treating. Yes. But just just tricks. Mm -hmm. We're the yes, treat. Yes, just tricks. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you're, you're right <laughs> about that one, I'm telling you. I know, I know, I know. Well, who are we going to first then? What do you reckon? I don't know. We need some supplies. What do you think we we're gonna do. need for tricks? If we're doing like any kind of any kinds of tricks, it usually leads to some type of building, right? So we're thinking maybe mm -hmm. maybe like a really standard trick block, either wool or concrete. I do know wool. a place for that. I, you I, do. I do know a place for wool. Green. It happens to sell wool for pretty cheap. You know, you support Bodum, shop at Bodum. <laughs> Okay, yep. lead the way. Well, that was easy. How do you like my paws? I made some new paws in Bodum, so it's a lot easier to get Very around. Very good paths. Is that your job? Are you the path lady? Oh uh, yeah, technically I'm the layout person, so I'm I'm head of architecture and layouts. No, the path yeah. lady. Look, that's a very oversimplified term of my job, Gem, and I'm, I'm you're, disappointed. You're the path lady. I'm t I'm the architecture lady. Thank you very much, <laughs> and I will accept the no path mess. lady. The path lady. I like it. I feel like that's oversimplifying my job, Jim. No, 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 no. I, I, it's a very impressive job. I'm best friends with the path lady. Great. <laughs> okay, well, you're the lump lady, all right? <laughs> no, I, yes, I am the lump you're lady. You're the lump lady. Okay, you're earning that one. Right. One of three, thank you. One of three. There's three lump ladies, and they all wear frog hats and live in a swamp. It's a very interesting mm -hmm. group you have going on there, Jim. <laughs> I, you can't I say speak. that while there is a cow upside down behind you. It's fine. You cannot speak, Pearl. That's <laughs> it's okay. Right? We don't look into the small details. Right. Okay, what color wool are we going to need? Definitely black. Definitely black. Do you have any diamonds? I have a few. A few? Okay. Do you have no diamonds? Aren't you the rich? You were just oh. calling me broke. Well, all my diamonds are in my hourglass over there. You, you see our hourglasses? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. All I'm seeing here is that you should be the one spending money. Well, hey, look, I earned those from blood, sweat, and tears. All right, you can't just be done. spending all of it just because of it. I mean, don't look at the back. Jen. <laughs> Stop looking at the back. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> don't, don't look at the back. It's all a front. No, no, look it's down. Okay, front, look, look down. All right, look down. That's more important. Okay. It's, there's more. Why is that more important? Because there's more down there, and that could easily fill up this top bit. I have four diamonds in my chest that I can spend. I don't know, Pearl. I think I think you've got a few in here. No, don't don't you break that glass yet? No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no, my, the diamonds that's are my spilling out. Jim, no, oh, no, don't put a hole in my. Oh no, look, gem. they've spilled. It's so inconvenient. Yeah, it they've like spilled it's, out. It's like it's now a you have button, to and now spend diamonds it. Are spilling out. It's like the scene from it's Alien, spi except with they've diamonds. They've spilled, Pearl. So well, you better have that glass. Unfortunate. In all right, well, this is all I'm spending. Why is there a hole there now, though? Now it looks even more fake, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get for putting on a front? Well, I literally did put on a front, didn't I? I got no back to it. <laughs> it's fine. It's exposing me like that. Okay, right. Green train, G train, grain, detain, drain. Uh, what the are we train. getting? Okay. Don't worry, I'll spend some too, so that we're okay. both. Why spending. don't we just get, like, yeah, we get most colors, right? 
Okay, I've grabbed some. I've grabbed some pink as well, just in case we want to do princess activity. You never know. Princess, it's Halloween gem, not Prince Ween. Have princesses are a <laughs> Halloween costume. Okay, all right. I'm a bit happy instead of spooky. You can make you make it really creepy. You know, super wide-eyed. That's pretty creepy. That's pretty scary. Or you know, like dolls. They're pretty scary. Oh. Yeah. Cute, but that's not Halloween, Gem. That's, that's too cute. You gotta scare people, not not. We'll, we'll I don't even scare know. them with not with cute cuteness. them to death. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Right. <laughs> well, who's our first target? Well, Bodum looks pretty vulnerable, to be honest. I'm, I'm already looking right now, and considering we kind of just bought a bunch of wool from Green, I think he kind of deserves to be the first victim. Right? Yeah, Maybe? he's got it coming. Huh? I mean, he lives in a cave. How much more spooky can that get? What can we do for green, I wonder? Caves. He goes going for like a, a look. Going for like a Harry Potter-like theme. Oh, there's lots of scary things in Harry Potter. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, you know one of the, like the, mo the the scariest ones I think get a lot of people is that that forest <laughs> one with all the spiders. Ugh, I hated that. <laughs> you see, that's what I mean, right? Can you imagine, like, if we get like some mobs that would bounce from the ceiling? I really wish we could do spiders bouncing <laughs> from the ceiling on leads, but you, I don't think you can't that would lead be hostile hilarious. mobs. hilarious. Imagine just a little bouncing spot. It would be so creepy. You know what the second best would be though? Mm -hmm. Chickens. Chickens. Did you know that he was chickens? Chick 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 chicken man. <laughs> ah, surely that was an alter ego. Alter ego. It's a little hidden <laughs> chicken man. You know, I'm sure he's still lurking around, so it kind of fits. I feel like it's yeah. not really creepy though. It's a bit. Playful if we just well, do chickens. You like a how giant? How do we make it creepy? We do like a giant spider. There's one little spider and it's little baby chickens. Like a mama spider. <laughs> <laughs> baby spider yes. chickens. Spider yes, chicken. Spider chicken does whatever a spider chicken does. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Agreed. Let's get to work. Yep. Let's do it. What if we do the spider on the weight building? <gasps> Damn. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just like that's what that's where the dragon usually goes. So it's just like it's a moment of realization. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta overcome there a little bit. I have chickens. You have chickens? Oh, Are you sure about that? Cause that just that didn't spawn a single chicken. Yes. Oh, there. I have chicken. I'm talking you. You have chicken. Chicken is now leaving. <laughs> what is my what? look? You, know, you, you want to pass me the eggs, Jeff? You want me to try the chickens? Oh, okay. You're hitting my face and you're getting chickens. I think it's already I got two over. chickens. Two. All right. Was that a stack? Two stacks of eggs. Let me try. Let me try. Let's see how many chickens I get. Well, this is one stack. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm offended! <laughs> you just got owned by some chickens. <laughs> I'm meant to be the cottagecore farmer. S send some chickens to Gem, guys. She needs some more. Pearl, I have so many chickens. You have so Look many. Look at all these <laughs> chickens. Pearl, I feel like I'm carrying us in this situation. I'm not gonna lie. Look, I spawned at least... <laughs> Gem, <laughs> are you sure you're carrying us in this situation? You left all your chickens Shh. behind. Oh, that, that looks so- it literally looks like a spider chicken. Gem, look at this! <laughs> it's a spider <laughs> chicken! <laughs> look at it! Pearl? Yes. Look at the creepy guy right there. That is kind of scary, Gem. Like this whole thing. This whole thing is terrifyingly creepy. And the chickens actually look like spiders. It actually kind of worked out really well. <laughs> this is a great trick. This is a fantastic trick. I'm actually, I'm really surprised how much they look like spiders. Look at the little dangly dudes. It's perfect. I Dancing love Dancing chickens it. off of spider legs. Yes. Oh, wait, wait, I need to see this a little bit closer. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> There's a little puppeteer spider. It's like my little baby Did chicken. That just, huh? It just pooped out an egg. Oh, now it's raining eggs. <laughs> 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 Literally raining eggs from green sky right now. <laughs> I love oh that. That's gosh. perfect. That is absolutely wonderful. I think this is a, a successful prank, if I say so myself. Yes. Wow. On to the next one? Yeah, on to the next one. Let's find another target. Why are you booping me with the horse's butt? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 
Okay, we, we're going around in a circle, Jim. Are, well, we, it's are a we going race. somewhere? I'm we're, it's a race. Well, you didn't say it was a race. But well, I'm winning. No, you're not. You're not winning. You see? Look at that. Yep. I'm winning. Yep. I'm winning right now. What? Where are we racing to? <laughs> <laughs> I need to know where the finish we're line is. To the next person to prank, Pearl. To the next. Per who's racing. the next person to prank? Do we have anyone in mind? I think we ought to do a little horseback ride and find out. A little horseback ride. Mm-hmm. Giddy up. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. Whee! Wait, it's nap time. Hold on. It is nap time. There's a hole in the ground. Did you see this hole, Jim? It's a very no. spooky hole. It's not a spooky hole. It's a very spooky hole. Who would do that? You're a spooky hole. Come on. What is that supposed to mean? Bro, this place already looks spooky. I don't think it needs us. This is a true fact. It's already scary enough. Yep, we move on. I don't on. think I want to go down that path. It's that spooky, you know? Nope. Boobies. Nope. But look, what about this fantastic place? Looks like someone lives here, you know? We could totally give it a little bit of a Halloween prankage, you know? Never mind, there's some creepers oh, in front ego. of it. That's, that looks big. My ego, what do you mean? <laughs> 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 I don't live there. Weird. I know a spooky place. You know a spooky place? What kind of spooky <laughs> place you thinking? Are we, are we thinking that, you know, instead of spooking, we're like, we're doing the gem spooky, you know? You talking yeah, about the whole turn. blush and then and, and whatnot? You you had your turn with the spiders. You're oh. Australian. Go on, yeah, that turn. was the winner. Okay. Yeah. What's what's Jem's form of spooky? Let's let's hear it. Um You'll find out. I'm going on a trip in my big moon Ready? ship, riding high along Where's Fifi? the big guy's path. Oh. Fifi? Fifi's this way, right? Ooh, Secret. look at these buildings. Oh, look at that windmill. That's so cool. So cool. That's oh, sick! Isn't that awesome? Just this view right into Fifi looks so cool. Imagine if Pearl. Hmm? Yes. It needs a princess dress for Halloween. A princess. This is Jem's version of Halloween, guys. She wants a princess dress. It All right. needs a Halloween That's not costume. Scary. Fifi deserves it. <laughs> it's not it scary. Deserves, it's already scary. That's it deserves a Halloween costume. It wants to go trick or treating. I know <sighs> it. And it doesn't have a Halloween You're probably costume right. right now. This poor thing has been locked up in a mountain this whole time. It hasn't been able to go anywhere. It's just like... It probably ah. doesn't even know it's Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it deserves better. All right. Well, we'll bring... It, uh, to be honest, actually, you know what? Halloween for Fifi is probably the complete opposite of what Fifi is. Fifi is already scary. So cute to Fifi mm -hmm. is probably Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally okay. agree. Well... Let's get to work. Let's do it then. Yes. I think we're done. What do you reckon? Is this your princess We're vibe done. that you're you're looking for? Fifi is beautiful. Fifi is beautiful. <laughs> She's even got Look slippers. Look at that tutu, the slippers, <laughs> and the, little the slippers. crown. Oh. Fifi, it's perfect. Truly the horrific. Princess dreams come true. It's, it's yeah, truly yeah, yeah. horrific. <laughs> so many zombies in this area. They need to light this place. This is a war zone, to be honest. We should leave. <laughs> Maybe they're already thinking about the <laughs> Halloween spirit, Jim. <laughs> Uh, okay, horrible. next victim, I reckon. Next victim before we yeah, die here. Uh, don't forget Moon. Yes, I gotta get Moon. You're gonna help me get her out. <laughs> get your boat down here. What do you want from me, woman? I want help. <laughs> like How friends would am I do. I help you? <laughs> I don't know, build me a bridge so I can get over it or something. Hey, Pearl, where hmm. are we off to now? It's your turn again. It's my turn again. I guess I guess we kind of just go maybe towards the the west of the server maybe see if there's any places around there. Look at that! That is cool. Oh. Well, we can't spookify that one. We gotta choose a different one. Stress. Stress? Isn't that place already spooky? Jim, all these places are spooky yet that we keep looking at. Come on. Yeah, it's already... stress doesn't deserve to be tricked. It's already spooky. Her base is so pretty. It is very pretty base. Look at that. Hmm. I'm starting to think that. We have a happy candy man on the server that probably could be spooky fight. That place isn't very spooky, but everybody else's places True. seem to be spooky. He's supplying the Halloween candy. Yeah, so he really especially sure. needs to be spooky and he doesn't have any mm -hmm. decorations up. How are people supposed to know that mm -hmm, he's got mm -hmm, the, the mm -hmm. treats? Okay, well, let, let's let's go back to Bodum and, and, and do and do some stuff there. What about that? Spooky, scary candy man. This is done much fine. We're here, Pearl. We're here at the candy man. See, look at that. He's got no decorations whatsoever. Not a What's single this? spooky thing in sight. Supplier of Halloween trees and absolutely nothing except the upside down dogs, which I did, by the way. You know? What are we going to do? Mm. Well, if he's the man supplying the treats, right? Maybe they should be like, maybe there's trick-or-treaters coming to the door to get the treats. 
so many trick or treaters. So many? Like how, how many? How many? There are hermits, maybe. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Worky times. Trick or treaters. Let's get this going. Let's get this started. I'm gonna hype it up. You know, you're gonna do a lot of hype pieces just to get all the yeah. energy that's with the hit. Yeah, I'm leaving all this in. Don't know. <laughs> no, don't leave this in. <laughs> Please, you're killing me here. <laughs> How many times are you gonna expose me in this video, Jim? <laughs> a lot. I'm trying a to get lot. us hyped up and you're out here going, I'm putting that in the video, Pearl. You know, I'm just gonna add all these things, all these voices you do. It's fine. <laughs> you're gonna add that in too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. What am I gonna do? Look, look, look we, we, done, we did the prank. Yeah, the, the prank the prank is done. We, we, we got it. Prank is done. <laughs> look, at, look at this one. Look at this one. This is my favorite one right here. Mm-hmm. I love that one and the mini mumbo. <laughs> this view, this view is perfect. It's a we wonderful fantastic. view. Look at all these little hermits going up to go trick or treating at Impulse's place. That's so cute. Okay, this has been so good though. I think we did so well on all of our pranks from putting spiders in Grand's bays to trick or treating at Impulse's to dressing up Fifi in a tutu, which in my opinion is kind of scary in its own right, but it's fine. Yes, definitely. <laughs> that, that was my favorite, personally. <laughs> but that, that's three, right? We're gonna do three more, right? We're thinking. But we don't really have enough time to do like another video or anything on those three. So we were kind of thinking of you know, doing a stream, you know, sometime around Halloween. Yeah. I reckon that could be cool. So have so definitely. kind of all, all the viewers at the moment, we're gonna put like, you know, li links to the uh, Twitch channels in the descriptions below. So look out for a, a fun Halloween stream over there where we do a few of these extra pranks on uh, some other unsuspecting hermits on the server. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, it will be, I can't wait. Yeah, but uh, one question, uh, Jim, where is Sun? Did, did, did you? Sun likes to go on adventures. Hmm, looks like Moon is ready to join. Well, I. Th I think we need to go find a horse, go get our horses <laughs> before they run away. <laughs> Thank you so much for the fun collab, Jam. Till prankish time. Fun. Excuse Bye, me, Jam. That's my horse. <laughs> 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 oh, you nugget. <laughs> well, there we go. The pranks are all done. At least half of them. <laughs> Remember, the second half will be over on Twitch, and I'll be leaving a link to both of our Twitch channels in the description below. So make sure you check those out and. Uh, Stay up to date on when we might be streaming the uh, the second half of them. Should be a lot of fun. Don't want to miss out. Now, it has been like a few days or so, or maybe even more since we did do the prank with Jem. And it does look like Green has already taken down the spider web at the front of his base. But you know what? That is completely understandable because it was blocking his new addition to his base. Look at this night sky here. Like we didn't fully really appreciate this in the clips with Jem, but he's done such a fantastic job making this like night sky effect at the top of his base. It's got layered glass with end rods in between them all. And it's such a brilliant effect. Look at this. I think once he gets the right hand side of the buildings done, I think it's really gonna kind of encapsulate a, a really beautiful scene inside this cave. So absolutely fantastic. Yeah, maybe, maybe he'll keep the spider though, you know? Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> I'm just kidding, he doesn't have to do that, but I'm just saying that spider looks pretty cool where it's sitting right now. I feel like I'm pretty proud of Gemini, <laughs> Gemini for uh, making that guy up there. It's basically like the Gringotts dragon, but it's the Gringotts spider instead. All that said, this is probably going to be the last episode between now and Halloween. So we're kind of running out of time to do any further Halloween things, but I have one more thing left in me to do. I have been wanting to make some kind of Halloween shop in Bowdoin pretty much this whole month. And I've been debating over it for a while, I haven't really been sure what to make, but I think I finally landed on a conclusion or something that I would be really happy to build. You see our little pumpkin dude there just sitting on top of our head, doing a little wave saying hi. What if we had a big pumpkin dude? Like a full on structure that people could go in and either shop for some items or get some sort of interactive experience. And what if it kind of sat on my mountain, like right around here? What do you guys reckon? I, I think that could be a lot of fun and it could look really cool if I'll be honest. I would love to add more like kind of like structures and just fun little things to my mountain in general and I think this is the perfect opportunity to kind of immortalize Pumpkin Dude on the server in its own way. So how about it guys? How about we just straight up get stuck into it, get building, 
and build my last Halloween build for the server for October. I'll bring you guys back in after we finish. Time lapse time! Big Pumpkin Dude is all complete. And you know what? I'm actually pretty happy with it. I'll, I'll admit, I'm pretty happy with Big Pumpkin Dude. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's a fantastically large version of its little of its little one with a, uh, with, a, with a little bit of a derpy tongue poking out the side. If we fly up here too and look at it, I think the pumpkin fits in just wonderfully in its little nook as well. Let's go inside, shall we? Straight away, when you will come up to the pumpkin, you'll see kind of like a few little tiny pumpkins called moonkins just around the place. I've applied like a little bit of a curse of vanishing on some sheared pumpkins just to give them a bit of a shiny effect to make them look special. But you know, they, they're kind of sitting around the place and I'll explain what those are for in just a moment. But if we walk in through uh, the chin area, I guess, it's not even the mouth, just a little chin, you'll immediately see like kind of a inverse pumpkin almost. I have a lot of greenery and a lot of like kind of like roots or stems on the inside of it. And I don't know, I feel like it's pretty cozy with a nice little spore blossom up the top with the particles too. But uh, come straight in here and you'll see this. So the concept that I went with for this little kind of building thing at the end of the day was a bit of a, almost like a where's Wally slash item hunt kind of game. I'm not really sure what to call it exactly, but if we read this, want an accessory? Find Moonkin pumpkins around Botum and trade. So that's right, I have hidden these little Moonkin thin things all around Botum. I've hit about like 47 or something of them in various places. Well, I've, I've hit 40, 45 because I have another two to hide on me, which I'll show you guys on camera. But I've hid, uh, I'll be hiding a total of 47 of them around Bowden for people to find. And when they come to these little, uh, little barrels, you'll see that it's three Moonkins per piece. So if they find three of these little collectibles and they can stick them in the hopper and then they can come over here and then pick up their little, uh, little accessory. I thought it would have been probably a little bit more fun than, the, than just straight up coming in and, you know, buying things with diamonds. In, in this way, people don't really have to pay anything. It's just straight up more of an experience and they get to be a little bit festive on the side as well. I don't know. I think it's pretty cute. I think at the end of the day, I'm fairly happy with how this turned out and I'm glad it's not just the shop, to be honest. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad. Let's go find some places just to hide the final two pumpkins and then we'll be good. Maybe, ooh, what if we hide one up here? This could be pretty cute. Maybe just one on top of this barrel here so they can see it if they're flying around. And here I can also do a command where if I do slash trigger, if invisible, this will make the item frame, uh, well, invisible. You won't see it anymore. Unfortunately, this isn't on like pure vanilla survival, so it won't be in your regular survival worlds. But it is like some sort of, I think, like plugin or data pack that we've added on. So we're able to, to just decorate in a bit of a different way. And let's kind of stick one on the back of Volcarbo. How about that? We've got a few basically in all the shops around Bodum to basically promote people to kind of just explore a little bit and maybe, you know, buy some things from everybody's shops. But uh, I think it works out quite nicely. With all that said, that is actually going to be it for today's episode, guys. We've been pretty productive with all of our Halloween stuff. We pranked three people with Gem and uh, going to prank, you know, a few more as well. So don't forget that little Twitch link in the description below if you're interested in that as Halloween comes up. And then, of course, we got our big pumpkin dude all set up for people to kind of explore around Botum and get their little headpieces for Halloween. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any feedback for the video, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye guys! Goodbye! Pumpkin Dude says bye once again. Bye!